Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I will be covering patch 6.4 for Battlefield 2042 going live tomorrow, February 28th. And some more news around the series since patch 6.4 alone isn't really enough to make a video in my opinion. So yeah, let's start with some news first. First of all, Marcus Leto has left EA. The guy was hired to write the story for next year's Battlefield single player campaign and he now left the studio. This can mean a lot of things. It can mean that they finished the single player campaign they finished the writing and scoping it now all that's left to do is for them to actually program and design the levels for the single player campaign maybe he also left for uh, health or family reasons this could also happen but i think what is more likely since we all know ea is that ea tried to do things with the battlefield campaign that he didn't agree on but since it's ea they pushed it so hard that he decided you know what guys if you want to have a campaign this way even though i don't want this i left and if that's the case then we are in for quite a ride with the next battlefield game the next news is there was a new season 7 story teaser i will play it for you now democratic stability has plummeted in recent months with multiple nations across the globe seeing sudden totalitarian takeovers this has sent ripples through many political alliances as economic growth elsewhere changes the balance of power between east and west while some analysts see the uprisings as a sort of social contagion Others have pointed to the sheer efficiency of these coups as a sign of more coordinated endeavors. So yeah, it basically says nothing, but well, at least we got something, right? So now let's go over patch 6.4. So patch 6.4, another point patch that does absolutely nothing and could just have been a patch without any patch notes since nothing really changes. So first of all, Archangel Directive is back again for I think like the third or fourth time already. You can unlock a free skin for an LMG. I'm currently not quite sure what it is. But yeah, it came back with the control mode. 24 versus 24. You need to earn ribbons to unlock. I think it's an av advancy skin. Honestly, I think the skin is okay, but it's not that cool that I'm gonna play control mode for the skin. But yeah, that's back for those that are interested in it. Next, they made an update for persistent servers for portal. Currently, it is that your portal server is staying online for exactly one day even if there are no players because back in the day when the server dropped to zero players the server would just delete now it stays on for one day and they now made the change that instead of one day the server stays persistent for two days when there isn't a season active because when we have an active season and you buy premium or you buy the battle pass the server will stay persistent for seven days now that they made this change now tells me two things First of all, Battlefield 2042 is coming to an end very soon. It will probably mean we only get another season after season 7 now, so season 8, but that's what we expected. But this also tells me that the seasons will be spaced out quite a lot, since if they need to make a change like this now, six seasons after the game launch basically, it just tells me they probably stretch out season 7 for another like 19 weeks. Then they make it again where we have like two or three weeks of absolutely nothing, and then they drop season 8 stretch it out another like 20 weeks and then we have nothing again until the next Battlefield releases late 2025 or maybe the next Battlefield will release in 2026 and if that's the case I definitely need to swap games for my YouTube but yeah that's what happens with persistent servers now here are some hard changes for helicopters and aircrafts I will put them on screen you can pause the video and read them I'm not reading through them now they made some AI soldier and general improvements. The AI improvements, I would say nobody really cares about it, but if you currently try to play the game, you will have a lot of AI in your team and on the enemy team. So they are good changes, but again, changes are up on screen now. If you want to read them, please pause the video. And then lastly, some more vehicle changes up on screen again pause it if you want to read them but yeah that's basically it not really a lot i don't know why they call it 6.4 patch they have done absolutely nothing so yeah that's basically all the news the campaign guy has left the studio i don't know if it's good news bad news or normal news honestly it's probably bad news we got a teaser for the season 7 story in a game that has no story and where nobody cares about the story and some patch notes that are useless again but that's better field for you these days so yeah i hope you enjoyed this quick rundown if you did consider leaving a like and subscribing for more battlefield content in the future anyways thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one